Well, uh, there would be a couple of things that we would do if we were in class together, and one would be to prove this. Uh, this is side angle side similarity. So we're going to assume that triangle ABC and triangle DEF are two triangles such that angle CAB is congruent to angle FDE, and AB is to AC as DE is to DF, then triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. This is side angle side similarity because these two sides are proportional to these two sides, and the angle between them are congruent. So let's go prove it. Here's what we're going to do. DE has some length. We're going to, by the ruler postulate, find a point B prime. We're going to find a point B prime such that DE is congruent to AB. A, I'm sorry, AB prime. So Choose B prime on ray AB such that DE is equal to AB prime. We have assumed all of this, and we've assumed that AB is greater than DE without loss of generality. Now, we construct L through B prime parallel to BC. We can do that. Call L intersect AC the point C prime. Now, we're in a Euclidean geometry. Parallel lines cut by transversals, these are congruent, these are congruent, right? Right. So triangle A, B prime, C prime is similar to triangle A, B, C. By angle angle. And so by the parallel projection theorem, AB prime over AB is AC prime over AC, which means with a little bit of algebra, AB is to AC as AB prime is to AC prime. But we were given that AB over AC is DE over DF. And we made AB prime so that it was DE. And what does that mean? Therefore, these are two fractions that are equal and their numerators are equal, so their denominators are equal. And if their denominators are equal, then that implies that triangle A, B prime, C prime is congruent to triangle D, E, F by, you pick it, but it's side angle side. And what does that mean? So triangle ABC is similar to triangle AB prime C prime, and triangle AB prime C prime is congruent to triangle DEF, so triangle ABC must be similar to triangle DEF as needed. 
Okay? So two triangles are similar if two sides, two pairs of corresponding sides are in proportion and the angles between them are congruent. Hey, this is something you should remember how to do. Uh, we suppose that GI is parallel to NT and IN intersect GT at A, and we prove that triangle GIA is similar to triangle TNA, uh, and this is not terribly difficult. Um, so we suppose all of this stuff, and then we know that angle GAI is congruent to angle TAN because vertical angles are congruent. <clears throat> we also know angle GIA is congruent to angle TNA by the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. Why? GI and NT are parallel lines cut by a transversal. If we say that the alternate interior angles are congruent, that is the converse of the AIA. Thus, triangle GIA is similar to triangle TNA by angle-angle similarity. So those are a couple of things that I would expect you to know how to do. Uh, more will follow in the discussion. Looking forward to seeing how you do there.